Hi. Now for this last part C, we're given the graph here of y equals f of x has this equation. f of x equals a times the mod of x minus b, and then minus 1, where a and b are constants. And we've got to find out the values of a and b, state them. So it sounds as if it should be fairly straightforward. And to do this, what we need to do is see how this graph is built up. It's built up from basically the base graph mod of x, which we should be familiar with. Mod of x is a graph like this, okay? If it was y equals x, it would be a line at 45 degrees, just going straight down like this. But the mod of x means that any negative values, remember, are reflected in the x-axis. So these values down here get reflected and you get this kind of v-shape. Then what I'm going to do is by looking at this I can see that we've got to translate this graph. If b is a positive value it's going to translate this graph to the right. And I get a clue here because I can see that the x coordinate here is 6. So if I was to look at the graph of the mod of x minus 6, it would take this graph, translate it to the right, parallel to the x-axis by 6 units. So it's going to look something like this. Okay, And this vertex here is on the x-axis, it's at 6, 0. And because we've got a graph then that with a gradient of 1 here for 1x, okay? This would be at 45 degrees. This too would be inclined here at 45 degrees. So what I'm saying is that essentially if I've gone 6 units out here, I would expect this value here to also be 6. If you can't see that, another way of looking at it is just to say, well, we need the y value when x is 0. So when x is 0, we get the mod of minus 6, which is plus 6. So y would equal 6 up here. Now, I need to work... So that means, anyway, that b is going to be 6. So put that down there. b is 6. We need to get a. And I can see that if I was to take a to be 2, then what's going to happen is the graph here of y equals the mod of x minus 6 gets stretched by a scale factor of 2 parallel to the y-axis. So we're going to get a much steeper v still passing through this point. This point stays put, it's invariant, and this part of the graph would be a lot steeper. And the important point is I can see this because we're going to be doubling 6, that will take me up through to 12, and then in a moment we're going to be reducing it by 1. So it's going to take the graph and translate it downwards. So I'll show you that. If we double the graph, okay, we've got this, y equals 2 times the mod of x minus 6. So this point here will be double the 6, so it's going to be at 12. So now what I'm going to do is by subtracting 1, that's going to translate this graph down by one unit. And it's going to take us on to the one that we want, OK, f of x, that one there. So what is the value of a? Well, the value of a has got to be 2. OK, so hope you've been able to see that. It's all based on transformations of graphs.